Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, what's going on? So what I'm saying is that um, this person has left a bad taste in your mouth. You know, you've given this person your all. But you wanted commitment from this person. You wanted balance. You wanted harmony in this connection out here. But clearly this person, you know, you were very childlike is what I'm getting here. Okay. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's a little childlike, you know, someone who's a little immature in their behavior. This person has left uh, a lot of bad memories for you. Okay. I feel you're dealing with someone here who tends to repeat a lot of negative patterns. Or if not negative patterns, this person tends to repeat and do the same thing over and over again. Okay which is uh, something that you don't really appreciate now that you are letting go of this person okay all the bitter memories i feel you're ready to move on okay i feel you're ready to move on because this person's left a lot of bitter memories while you're ready to move on this person comes towards you okay and they're wanting to communicate with you now this person is definitely not coming in with a brand new start but they definitely feel that they they've got new ideas they want to approach this in a different way okay they, they're changing their approach towards you more light-hearted okay not something very intense out here and that's when the current situation all you can do is just wait patiently okay you can just wait and watch probably have a more optimistic attitude that things may work out or things will work out between you guys now how you view this person as the ten of swords in reverse just like i said you're viewing this person as someone who's not being able to let go of past hurt or who's not being able to let go of uh something or you know actually you view them as someone who's not being able to let you go even though you know that things have ended now this person could have felt betrayed and backstab you could have felt betrayed, betrayed backstab but because this is how you view them i feel you feel that this you view this person as someone who's just not being able to let go of whatever ended in the past okay they want to keep reviving the cycle again and again instead of starting brand new or just completely letting it go this person views you as someone you know who's lacking balance right now but they see you as someone who's just you know off the grid right now you're not um how do i say this you're not with them on the same page you're not wanting to work with them you know with a lot of harmony a lot of peace here okay they see you as someone who's just wanting to pursue things your way okay that's how they see you with the temperance in reverse here they see you as someone who's just lacking balance out here you're overdoing things or you're overindulging so i think this person sees you as someone who's an extremist out here okay i'm getting an extremist out here that's how they see you like if you're talking you're talking like but right now i feel you're not talking to them at all even if this try person's trying to come towards you make an effort here you're absolutely on the extreme side and which is not getting this relationship anywhere right now okay you're overdoing something um the strength out here in the reverse as your um the strength in reverse as your mutual energy so what i'm feeling here is that you're both right now either you both are tired of dealing with the situation okay both of you are tired of dealing with the situation or I think you both are just kind of uh, in your ego, in your pride. I think that's pride out here. I think that's being extremely stubborn. You're both being very stubborn in your ways. See how this person does not want to let you go and how you want to be an extremist. Like, no, it's like my way or highway. You know, that's how, that's what's exactly happening out here. The action you plan on taking is the world here. So you definitely plan on closing a cycle with this person here. Um, now... It's all about completions, right? Now, this can also mean two things. Either you want to complete and wrap up a cycle and start something new somewhere else or with this person, or you just want to shut the chapter for good here, all right? This person out here with the Six of Swords here, now this person wants to come towards you. They want, like, if you're not on good talking terms or if you're not talking at all, if there's radio silence, this person wants to approach you wanting peace, harmony, wanting something stable, wanting commitment, or at least wanting to be together with you. At least they want to get into calmer waters with you, okay? Now, because this person takes their sweet on time, whatever it is, but with the nine of swords here, I feel that the outcome here is that you're both suffering in silence. Both of you are suffering. Both of you all need each other. Both of you all want each other here. But it's the negative pattern, the negative thinking that you both have on each other's side 
right? Which is ultimately as the outcome, you're making you both suffer in silence. You're hating the fact that this is ending. You're hating the fact that this person won't make a move. You're in your ego. This person's hating the fact that you're just not ready to compromise and just not ready to be with them on the same page. There's a lot of controlling from your side is how they view you. Now, because of this, you're ending this connection here or you're just wanting to wrap up this, okay? This person out here, as soon as you wrap this up, this person wants to come with you, make any kind of changes that they were resisting all this while, okay? And they want to start new with you is also what I'm getting here, okay? At least get into a better place with you. This person seems to be on a much more negative side negative pattern of thinking than you okay because of which you know you've you have bad memories okay like the sweetest memories have all turned into ash for you and that's why like i said you're both suffering in silence you both want each other you both miss each other but no one will speak up the person you're dealing with with the page of phones you i feel this person will make a move towards you okay but what you gotta stop doing is that you gotta stop being an extremist, you know, like, it's like, you literally want this person, you know, to give you a resolution, like, is it a yes or is it a damn no, you know, and this person's like, wait, wait, give me some time, you know, let's get to the same page, you know, let's get on the same page, give me some time to figure it out, and you're like, no, there's no more time, you made me wait forever, you know, because that's like the temperance card here, they made you wait, this person makes you wait, and they made you wait forever, and you're like, no, now there's no time for that anymore, it's a yes or it's a no, that's it, so that's how they see you, okay? And that's why you're wrapping up the cycle because this person's trying their best to come towards you, but with a very immature communication, okay? That's what the page of wants to do, right? They come up with ideas, but again, they're not very capable to handle that in a, that, that kind of passion, you know? But yeah, they definitely want to come towards you with that lighthearted energy out here. And dude, you out here are already at the end of the cycle with the world here. You're just like, I'm done, finito. Okay? But yeah, the out, as the outcome in the next 10 days, you both are still planning not to talk and still suffering, you know, in silence, sleepless nights, but no one wants to talk about it. Okay. If you loosen up, if you soften up, then probably this can still work out. Okay. So that's what I have for you.